Well, you sound like Uncle Earl doing his annual sit-up. <laughs> well, that ought to do it for this year. You smell worse than that weak old sardine Uncle Earl found in his fat fold when he was looking for the remote. I ain't seen that many feathers since your Uncle Earl and Aunt Pearl had their annual pillow fight. I know Uncle Earl's never going to be an underwear model. Uncle Earl? Hmm. Or Aunt Pearl. What do you think, son? Wow. Put on an apron and a pair of combat boots and you could be her twin. You're right. I think I'll go with Earl. Now I smell worse than Uncle Earl after he was drilling for oil and hit that sewage pipe. This thing's knocked me flatter than Uncle Earl's inflatable butt cushion after football season. First you see her, then you smell her. Kind of like my Uncle Earl. <laughs> well, I'm guessing it was something like, Bud, you're not going. And then something about your Uncle Earl's feet. <laughs> Look at that thing. I swear there's nothing more dangerous than your daddy with a pocket full of cash and one of Uncle Earl's garage sales. That looks like Aunt Pearl when she gets back from the beauty shop. When I milk the cows on Uncle Earl's farm, I use the only bone that is in my arm. Milia! The next thing you know, you're spending the rest of your life singing like Aunt Pearl after she swallowed that kazoo. Mom, listen, if you want to put this thing behind you, you got to get back on the horse, just like Uncle Earl. Uncle Earl forgot the words to the national anthem? No, Uncle Earl fell off a horse. Took four of us to get that fat old coot back up. <laughs> Made it through the first two words and froze up like Aunt Pearl in the outhouse on Christmas morning. Man, this jalopy races faster than Uncle Earl's heart at a Shakira concert. Wow, I haven't seen somebody in this house since Uncle Earl thought he could last three minutes in the ring with that boxing kangaroo. Uh, you know, you sound kind of like that old mule that used to haul old fat Uncle Earl up at Hill to Church. Oh, no. Uncle Earl never forgave me for telling his poker buddy he's a hide aces in the fold of his belly. The year that Uncle Earl bought Aunt Pearl a mulch maker for Valentine's Day, they had to go to a marriage council. I'll have to remember that next time I go visit Uncle Earl and he's cooked up a pot of that three bean chili. Okay, if I haven't said this before, I don't ever want to meet Uncle Earl. Surprise, surprise!